Watch the sprightly puck right here, yo. What up, sprightly puck fans? Hey guys. It yes, has been, been, yeah, it's been a while. It has, so, but a lot of crazy stuff has been going on. I got married, I moved. Yeah, if you're, we're not against a hockey wall right now because the hockey wall is not up yet. So, but I'm here. We need to convince. Important. We need to convince Oliver that the hockey wall needs to go back up. Oh no, he he wants the hockey wall back up. Sorry, sprightly husband. Right. No, it's fine. He wants it back up, but we just haven't Determined decided the location. I mean, I do have a picture of Jamie and Tyler sitting over in the corner right now. Maybe I should just hold it the entire episode. <laughs> first of all, I finally got to go to my first ever in-person NHL playoff game. But we wrapped up our. Round one of playoffs, and we were pl playing against the Minnesota Wild. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you guys are all aware. I had that uh, that it was going to be a five game series, and we were going to lose game three in Minnesota. Like I had been saying that. Look at you. I was like, I know it's going to go more than four games. That we're not going to sweep. Yeah. The well, and I just knew th with the record that we had against the Wild and everything over this season. Mm -hmm. And with how they play playoff hockey, there was going to be a win at home, like for the Wilds. Like they were going to win at least that one, and then we'd kind of get it together and win the next one. I was off on, I guess, the six games, but I was off. I you said, know, I said I said we were going to go either four or seven. I was like, there is no in between. We're either going to sweep or it's going to take us the entire time. I was off. I just want to note that the majority of our roster has points in the playoffs already. Yeah, mainly assists, but points nonetheless. And the fact that we only have five players on the entire roster without points, and only two of them have played more than one game, mm -hmm. is pretty stinking impressive. And that it's just proof that we are we are definitely a team ready for some playoff hockey. Game one, let's just talk about the fact that Radic Foxa <laughs> gets the game winning goal. Yeah, and it was just like. Oh my god, it's a baby! Yeah. yeah! Well, and I have to say, like, I've been really impressed with him. Um, but, you One know, the fact that, that, like, these younger guys are coming up here and playing playoff hockey so well really says something about the entire organization. So, game one goals, Radic Foxa, Spezza, Eves, Eves, and you know how much I love Eves. And wait, wait, but Eves' goal was a power play goal, which yes. I love when we get power play goals. And I love watching Moby Minnesota fans go... Really? And then one? and then they do and then the wild do the thing that you think maybe they possibly won't do because it's playoffs. And, and pull their goalie. Wait, bye bye Devin Dubnik onto they, the bench in four goalie. minutes left. Four well, minutes now, left in now, the third period. I'm like I have I have read some stats that say that if you pull the goalie three to four minutes out from the end of it, you know or you know, pull them a couple minutes earlier than you usually would do you have a higher chance of actually making another goal. And then Jamie Ben's like, oh, that's cute. Flaboo, empty net, end of game. Goodbye, Minnesota. Yeah. Then um, game yeah. two comes around. And you know what? They put up a bigger fight in game two. Before the series started, I told my husband, I said, I think that we'll go five games. I think that we'll lose game three. And I think that the games will all be one by one point. We're looking at game two and it's another win. Our only goals this time were Roussel and Jamie. They did pull Dubnik again. Again, it's like, you pulled Dubnik, and it took Minnesota, who <laughs> has a decent scoring record on the season, um, an entire game and two-thirds to put one puck in a net. I thought they played really well that game. To be honest, I thought they that both, both, no, teams, both teams both teams really fought for that game. Yeah. And we won. So game three, I have a quote from Ruffles. He said that he hadn't seen the team play that badly in the last five weeks. And Klingberg had a horrible night. Oh my god, that was the worst night defensively like, we had in goalie weeks. This is not good. Kari has not won three games in a row without there being a two-day break between the second and third game all season. And All of his three game streak wins come with a break of two days or larger between the second and third game that he played. So, yes, Kari was hot. Yes, Kari probably but said that's I was what good to Ruff go. What has done all season is play and it Kari, bit us in the butt. Play, and I'm not saying that it doesn't, but I do think that when you're a coach, you're going to be like, okay, if he can handle it, he can handle it. Mm -hmm. I think that they probably should have pulled him. 
And I know not all of those goals, obviously, were, there were about three that were definitely not his fault. Uh, three or four. <laughs> right. I do think that they should have pulled him, though. I agree with I mean, you can't blame him for all of the shutdown that the defense had. Like, yeah, the, the defense, defense screwed him. I mean, the defense was really bad. A lot of those goals were yeah. caused by the lack thereof. Yes. Um, but I and still... And funneling. We were funneling the puck towards the net instead of away from right. it. Right. And I think that... We probably should have pulled Kari just to, yeah. to salvage his confidence a little Game bit. Game four, we're back. No, we're still in Minnesota. Mm-hmm. But Antti gets to start. And you know what? Logically, Antti deserves to start at this point because right. Kari lost the last game. Although, I would say the defense lost us the last game, to be more accurate. But I like how in game four, there was no goals in the first period. All the goals came in the second period. And then mm-hmm. no goals again in the third period. Well, and there's been Spetsa's game-winning goal was in the third. No. Yeah, it was. It's in the second. I'm pretty sure it was in the third. One moment. <laughs> Box score. Goals. Oh, yeah, you're right. It happened at the last minute of the uh, second period. Fine. <laughs> Hemsky, power play goal. Eve's power play goal. Spets a game winning goal. Is Hemsky a power play goal? Hemsky's was a power play goal. Are you sure? PPG, Alex Hemsky, Jason Demers, Chris Russell. Oh, my God. I didn't. Bobby. How did I miss my that? My boy, Alex Hemsky, that everybody hates on. All the time. Oh, like, oh, he yes. and Spezza and Eves, along with oh, Jamie Venn, are, are killing the playoffs right now. And you've got these three amazing players yeah. who are giving our teams depth and are setting things up and are getting some goals, getting some points, and are really helping us get some wins that yeah. we needed. Game five. He got our first goal in game five, and I was like, you know what? All right. Johnny Odia. Well, and again, this is somebody who's had playoff hockey experience and maybe he just woke up in it. Well, maybe, but I think sometimes it's just the energy and everything yeah. and all of that. It just took him some time to get used to playing with with the stars and all of that huh. and doing what they call stars hockey. Because, huh. you know, that was what I said about Alex is he just needed to get used to it. I did want to point out <laughs> that in game five, I mean, I know we lost and everything, but we had like... But it, it was 30, an overtime. It was an overtime. It was an overtime. And we had 35 hits versus their 21. But yep. the fact is that this is how playoff hockey is supposed to be. So, Oduya scores. Jamie Venn scores again. Spezza scores again. And then Golagoski. And Golagoski's. But yeah. Golagoski's goal does not make up for the fact that he was the king of turnovers that game. Yeah. And cost us a lot of those goals that yeah, and ended that's up true. winning Minnesota the game. Game six, back in Minnesota. It was like, it was like Oprah night with goals. Like, here's a goal. You get a goal, and you get a goal, goal and you get a goal. Yeah. Klingberg, Spezza, Sharp, Jamie, Golgoski. Uh, Berger's goal was a power play goal, by the way. Yeah. That's our third, fourth of the fourth. Yeah. Power play goal of the series. The thing is, game six, we they had that such a controversial call. With that, which goal. happened to us earlier this season, by the way, there was that the big puck controversial, yeah, hit the red line but did not go completely over. It's a black and white rule; it has to cross the entire red Entirely. line. Entirely, I got really irritated when some, you know, obviously it pops up on Twitter where somebody has like photoshopped the puck over the red line. Now we enter round two. We play the Blues. It took them all seven games to beat the Blackhawks, which is fine because now they're going to be so tired that we can just kind of beat up on them. So I guess let's just talk about expectations. Because my my expectation for this series is to go... I put us going all seven. So did I. But our record against the Blues is really tight. From this season. Right. We have a win, a loss, three overtime losses. It's going to be a battle. And it's going to be a full-on fight to the finish. I think we'll see at least two, possibly more overtimes. If we can beat the Blues, then I think we can win the whole thing. We will be back at the end of round two, however it turns out. We hit 100! Hey, we have a 100 subscribers and now. And you know, like that doesn't seem like very many, but that's actually really big for us. You know, so this is, that's really exciting for us because we yeah. know that there's more people who watch it who don't subscribe because they just watch it via the Twitter link, link and all or that. Or the Facebook page, or right. your friend sends it to you. Right. We need to shout out Peach Flooring. Still loving the rug. Still um, stain proof. Yeah, you know what? Okay, so my cat did get a little sick on it, and it cleaned up super easy. <laughs> no, seriously, this thing is awesome. You can't even tell that there was a cat issue. Yeah, and um, if you guys reach out to the Peach Flooring uh, Twitter, mm-hmm. he can hook you guys up with your order form to get it. And they come in two different sizes. 
Yes. Um, they have the Stars. They have NHL. They have NFL, NCAA. NCAA. I mean, it's awesome. Yeah. They are great at getting things taken care of. And, and or if it's you awesome. just need flooring, like yeah, they do wood, know. tile, carpeting, anything. All right. Um, I think that's pretty much it. That's it. So thanks you guys will. for See watching. See you guys later. Bye. Bye.